Welcome to Apterabytes. Today I wanted to go over the ordering process for getting an Aptera reservation. The interest level in Aptera has been increasing quite rapidly over the last few days with the recent Fully Charged Live conference. And I noticed during the live question and answer session, a lot of people had a lot of questions about the pricing of Aptera and the different upgrades that you can get and the different features that you can get. And so I just wanted to go through the ordering process in a systematic manner so everyone knows what to expect before they even decide whether they would like to reserve an Aptera. So if you click a referral link, it'll possibly take you to this page here, which says, are you sure you want to leave YouTube? And click on go to site. And it takes you directly to the ordering portal for Aptera. You can see here at the top, you have the different specifications listed depending on what features and upgrades you choose down here. So this will give you the battery range, the expected acceleration for 0 to 60, and your daily solar charge capacity, or the number of miles you can expect to increase every day with trickle charging from the sun. So the first thing you'll want to choose will be your color. This first color on the left is the Luna Silver. And you can see in this render that it just changes the sort of the color of the lower part of the body and the wheel pants. I wanted to comment on this render here. It looks very different than the Gamma vehicle that we were recently shown. So the belly is going to be much lower. Also, the wheel pants will be a little bit lower and closer to the ground. And this render is showing the package that does not include a rear hatch solar package. The second color option here is the sole white. You can see that this changes again the wheel pants and the lower part of the body of the vehicle. The third option is the noir black. On this image here, I did want to comment on the solar panel appearance on the front hood. I think that the Gamma vehicle hid the solar panels much better than they are hidden on this render, and they sort of just matched the surrounding color on the Gamma vehicle. And then your last option is to choose a custom color which you don't actually choose today and this adds one thousand five hundred dollars to your base price and that is again just a custom color for the lower part of the body and the wheel pants the next thing you'll want to choose will be your battery pack or your range so the lowest option is the 250 mile battery pack and that starts at $25,900. You've got the 400 mile battery pack that starts at $29,800. The 600 mile battery pack which starts at $34,600. And the 1,000 mile battery pack which starts at $44,900. I do want to remind you that the 400 mile battery pack is the vehicle that Aptera is currently working on and it is the vehicle that they plan to start producing and shipping first. And so in some ways the 400 mile option will be the base model although the 250 mile option is the lowest price. Also you can see as you switch between these different battery packs you get these images shown to try to depict how it will appear in the belly of the Aptera. The next thing you'll want to pick is your solar package. So the base solar package would include just the roof and the dashboard. To add a solar hood would be an additional $300. 
to add the solar rear hatch would be an additional $600 and to add both of those would be an additional $900 and as you change between these different options you can look at how it will affect your daily solar charge capacity so the base solar package can get you up to 16 miles of solar trickle charging per day and that can increase to 22 to 34 or if you get the entire package you're talking about 40 miles of daily solar trickle charging per day and that will depend on what part of the world you live in and they do have a map on their website to help you figure out exactly what your number would be for the area that you live in and the amount of sunlight that you get the next thing that you want to do is choose whether you want a front wheel drive system or an all wheel drive system so to get all wheel drive or three wheel drive it will be an additional two thousand five hundred dollars and this gets you an acceleration time of 3.5 seconds to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour whereas the front wheel drive system will get you 0 to 60 in about 5.5 seconds so then you can scroll down and choose your interior colors you can see that the coast is sort of this navy blue color you don't really see it on the back of the seat here you sort of see it here and in the stitching and you can see the stitching better on this render this material looks quite different than what we are seeing in the gamma vehicle that was presented your next option would be called codex again you've got these black seat backs with this tan stitching which you can see here and here the next option is called Vita, which gives you these orange seat backs, sort of this sports car feel. These orange accents here and the orange stitching here. You can see that the material in this render actually appears to be much more similar to what we saw with the Gamma vehicle. Again, your last option will be to get a custom color, which you again do not have to pick today but will add an additional $900 to your expected price. So then if you click continue to checkout, it will bring you to this page which allows you to choose some more upgrades for your Aptera. So the first upgrade is called Safety Pilot and this allows you to get level 2 autonomy which includes facial tracking, lane keep, and adaptive cruise control and emergency braking and the safety pilot upgrade is an additional one thousand three hundred dollars the second option here is called enhanced audio so you're getting three extra channels as well as a lightweight transmission line subwoofer and that's an additional six hundred dollars the camping kit is an additional six hundred dollars as well and this gets you an integrated tent and rear awning which allows you to camp in the back of your Aptera. The pet kit is an additional $300 and this is basically a pet divider, a water bowl, bags, a rear cover, but then also a ladder that allows your pet to climb in and out of the vehicle on their own. And the last option here is the off-road kit so this is an additional $1,000 and this will increase your ground clearance so a little extra space between the ground and the wheel pants and between the ground and the rear fin and this is likely to decrease your coefficient of drag which is the reason that they are not making the vehicle have good clearance to start out with so if you live in an area that has potholes or you expect to be driving on grass or rough terrain you may want to add this for $1,000. So once you've chosen some of your upgrades, you can click on continue to check out for $100. And once you do that, you will notice that the referral code brings it down to $70. You can enter your information here in your credit card and place your order for $70. And that is fully refundable. It goes into an escrow account that Aptera actually cannot touch during the production process.